In today's video, we are making easy and delicious garlic lemon peel and eat shrimp. Let's go. What's going on, everybody? Welcome back to another episode of More Seasoning. I am your host, Farnham. And it has been a while since we have filmed a video like this. We got some catching up to do. All right, so let's talk about the first major change on the channel, and that is the name. Yes, more seasoning is gone, and it's Farnham Grind Time now. Why? Because you guys wanna see more vlog and personal life content on here, so it only made sense to change the channel to my name. However, 95% cooking, recipes, road to master chef, so don't sweat it, we're still sauced up and bossed up. And the other one is not necessarily a change, but more so a thank you to you guys, specifically 500,000 of you guys. Never in my wildest dreams that I think this channel would hit half a million subscribers and we are almost there. The shorts do well on here, the long form. I wish it did better, but you know what? There's still tens of thousands of you that love these long form videos. You love learning in depth about food and the cooking process and I have an appreciation for that. So we are still gonna post long form on here. I promise I will not let you guys down. All right, when I tell you this is only five ingredients, I'm not kidding. You're gonna need garlic, lemon, parsley, butter, and large shell on shrimp. And it wouldn't be an episode of more seasoning if I didn't forget an ingredient on a six ingredient list. Red chili flake, get you some of these. All right, so there's two things you're gonna need to make this recipe absolutely perfect. The first is a steamer. Now, you can have a steamer pot like this. Most people aren't gonna have that. Or you could spend a few dollars and go get a steamer basket. It folds up, you just pop that into a stock pot like so. And number two is you're gonna want some large shell on shrimp. Luckily, I live on the Gulf of Mexico, so we're gonna go grab some fresh shrimp right now. Here we are, Tampa Shrimp Dogs, baby. Let's go. Same ones as last time, they were like that big. I'm gonna get those, and then I wanna grab lobster tail as well. As you can see, we got the shrimp boats here, and we are getting this shrimp fresh off the boat. These are Gulf shrimp. Now, obviously, not everybody has access to stuff like this. So for this recipe, just get some shell on large shrimp at your grocery store, and you'll be good to go. All right, so I got Jacqueline a fresh Florida lobster for dinner. Now, check these shrimp out right here. Now, obviously, these came off the boat, so they were just freshly frozen, but look at how beautiful those are. Nice Gulf shrimp. Let's get back to the kitchen. All right, so I know the prep work, we usually fly through it, but there's not much, and I figure we could catch up since it's been a while. You're gonna take garlic cloves, we want about eight of these, just chop the butt off and then pull the shell off. We're gonna leave them whole because we're gonna press them. If you don't have a garlic press, go ahead and fine chop about eight garlic cloves. Once you have that done, grab a little handful of parsley. Don't go too crazy. As you can see, that's not a lot. And you know how we do with the herbs. You're gonna grab them, pinch them, bundle them up nice and tight, and then we're just gonna do one slice through the middle, and then a fine chop. Now let me talk to y'all real quick. If you have not seen my new series, it's called Road to Master Chef. It's the last video that I just uploaded. I wanna jump on one of these shows here in the future, whether it be on Fox, Food Network, who knows, just one of these cooking shows, one of these challenges, and I really wanna compete because I think that we can do really well here. We got a lot of practice on this channel, right? So make sure you go peep that out. I'll put it up here somewhere. Lastly, we got a lemon, just slice that guy in half and you're pretty much done. I'll finish this prep work up and then we hit the stove. It is very, very easy. Bam. So we're over at the stove. Check it out. We got our steamer pot. It's hot and ready. I've got a pan on a very low heat. And what we're going to do is put about a stick and a half. Boy, I don't get so of butter in there, sorry for that. And then all we're gonna do is take our garlic press. We got our garlic loaded up. Get that garlic in the butter. Yeah, just like that. Make sure you get all that garlic. That's the good stuff right there, that's flavor. And then we're gonna take some red chili flake. You don't have to go super crazy, that's enough. About half a teaspoon, and then just give this a little mix. And we're just gonna keep this on a super low heat for a little while. The longer we leave it in there, the more those flavors are gonna start to saturate into that butter, and it's gonna make that sauce delicious. Butter's melted, now we're gonna squeeze the juice of the entire lemon in here. Now, I know you might be thinking like, ooh, that is gonna be a little too lemony. Trust me, to combat that garlic and that nice seafoody shrimp flavor, the lemon is necessary and delicious. So, now check it out. We're gonna take this parsley right here. We're just gonna drizzle that parsley in there like that. Mix this up into a beautiful concoction. Look at that, look how delicious that looks already. All right, so our butter is melted and our pot is steaming. As you can see, I'm exfoliating as we speak. Okay, these are frozen. When I tell you this is only gonna take three or four Four minutes, I'm not exaggerating. And to prove it, we're not gonna cut the camera. You guys sent in a bunch of questions. I'm gonna send answers. I'm gonna pull my little clock out real quick. 
spread them guys out just like that. We're gonna pop that lid back on, start our timer, and we are gonna start our Q&A. Come on over here. Okay, so first question. If you worked in an office, what kind of packaged lunch would you bring? Well, you're obviously not gonna be able to cook unless you got a toaster oven in there. So I'm gonna make stuff that's probably snackable and high in protein, maybe like Greek yogurt and some nuts, some chicken breast on a salad, or maybe some shrimp on a salad. But I would definitely bring some protein shakes just to keep me full, because you really can't bring a full meal, you know what I mean? Could you give some suggestions of different meals and snacks to feed our little ones while we're on summer break? Yeah, I've done a lot of TikTok videos where we do a lot of cool little snacks and snack hacks and stuff like that. You should definitely go check those out. What is your most flavorful, easy, yet effective meal prep you'd recommend for weight loss that does not include seafood? Me personally, I do this every week. I shred up chicken breast, bake it, throw in a blender, or well, not a blender, but a mixer. It shreds it up and you can put whatever sauce you want on there. You can do chicken salad, you could do Italian dressing. Jamari's arms will probably get entire buffalo sauce, whatever. Jamari, come put it down. I'll just literally talk to him like this. Will you do more cooking episodes with Jacqueline? If you guys want me to, absolutely. We can definitely do some more cook-offs. I love having fun on camera. I really got too invested in doing just strictly recipes and not being experimental. As you can tell from our latest video before this, we're definitely open to doing a lot of different things on this channel, including cook-offs. What is your favorite dish you've ever made? What is the worst you've ever made? My favorite dish I've ever made is probably the lobster pasta that I did on the engagement reveal when I got engaged to Jacqueline. That dish is absolutely incredible. The worst, I remember when I first started more seasoning, I was trying to make a Philly cheese sandwich and I used bone marrow instead of ghee or oil and that just tasted absolutely disgusting. What is your 100% honest opinion on Gordon Ramsay's new pot and pan line? Me personally, I love them. I just like stainless, it's clean, it's easy, but you do have to practice. So if you're a novice chef and you're not going crazy in the kitchen, the pans are great. They're non-stick, they're, I love them. All right, it's been three minutes. Let's go ahead and take the temperature on these shrimp. As you can see, they are nice, bright, and pink. And let's just see if these guys are fully cooked. We're gonna reach in, we're gonna grab him, and we're looking for 145. Here we go, we're at 90, 92. Okay, so we're gonna leave him in for a couple more minutes. All right, back to our Q&A. How come you don't bake or cook any desserts? Cooking and baking are two different worlds. With baking, it's very meticulous, precise measurements, and me, I just like throwing random into different bowls and mixing it up and experimenting and it's kind of hard to do that with baking from what I've seen. How many kids are you and Jacqueline going to have, lol? I mean, ideally, I would love to have three kids. I grew up with a brother and a sister and I think three siblings is wonderful to have for your kids. What is your favorite movie and TV show? You guys are gonna think I'm crazy. Me and Jacqueline are on a Sex in the City kick right now. We do it like once a year. It's such a good show. There's like a lot of relatable stuff in there, a lot of humor, and I think a lot of men could benefit from watching that. That show. As far as my favorite movie, Fruitvale Station with Michael B. Jordan, incredible movie. Will you make some Arab recipes? I'm actually making a Lebanese dish tonight. I'm not filming it, but I'm making Lebna from scratch for the first time, and I'm super excited about that. We're approaching six minutes, so let's go ahead and check this. Pop that. And there we go, 160, these are done. Now, follow me real quick, because we're just gonna keep rolling, guys. Here we go, we're gonna scoop our shrimp, now that they're nice, steamed, very hot, and we're gonna put them into this butter. And a lot of people, when I posted this on my TikTok, said, well, why don't you just cook the shrimp in the butter? Well, listen, I have just cooked the shrimp in the butter, and the texture is not the same. These are the perfect peel and eat shrimp. This shell is gonna crack off so beautifully, and when you cook them from frozen in this butter, it's just not the same. You're not gonna get the same effect, and it also kind of makes the shell soft and you don't get the same experience. We're just gonna go ahead and mix them up in this butter. Look at that, oh God, those look delicious already. So, ladies and gentlemen, when I tell you that is literally it, that's it. We're gonna plate these and we're gonna taste test them, but real quick before we do, this is a garlic lemon sauce. I want you to understand that you can make any kind of sauce that you want. You could do an Old Bay, you could do a Cajun, you could do whatever the hell you want. You could literally cool these off and dip them in cocktail sauce or a remoulade. There's a lot that you can do with these shrimps. So, don't don't just depend on this recipe. If you make the shrimp, make a couple different butter sauces. Experiment, have fun, taste test time. So it is taste test time. We've got our celebrity guest taste tester in the building. Always here. That's Jamari. Listen to this crack that comes off these. Look at that. Perfect, beautiful shrimp. Dip mine in the butter. He's obviously not experienced in shrimp peeling. Not at all. From the bottom, just pull his legs out. There you go, like that, yeah. 
garlic lemon shrimp. Easy as hell in three, two, one. Oh yeah. When I tell you this fresh caught shrimp just tastes different, am I bullshit? It does definitely taste different. I was made aware in the last video that most shrimp that you buy fresh in your grocery stores is like farmed in like these little ponds in China and Ecuador and they're like loaded with hormones and stuff like that. Wild caught shrimp, especially from the US, absolutely delicious, antibiotic free. Mm -hmm. so much damn flavor, oh man. Yeah. This for sure tastes different. It's good, right? It's got like a seafoody taste to it, it a little bit. You don't get that with other shrimp. Like shrimp you get from the store is literally flavorless. So one out of five stars, what are you giving it? I'm giving it a five. It's a five out of five. It's these a are five out of five. These are delicious. You can't make this specific dish any easier or any better. It's literally top tier. Like I could kill five pounds of this by myself. It's incredible. And there you have it, ladies and gentlemen, a five star garlic lemon peel and eat shrimp recipe. Six ingredients, packed with flavor, kid friendly, and it's absolutely delicious and super healthy. Before you get out of here, please, my name is Farnham and don't forget to like and subscribe. Drop a comment down below. You know I love talking to you guys. I love chopping it up, shooting the shit. I appreciate you. We are almost to 500,000 subscribers. I will see you next week or in a day or two on a short. We out. Bye.